Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be flipping through my June Creative Daily Journal. It is July 1st, it, so it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time, and it's chunky. He's a chunky boy. I made a spiral bound traveler size notebook for June, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna be honest. But let's get started with the flip through. If you do recall, my first week of June when I came down to do a journal with me, we were having some issues in the house, so I had to rush through it. So there's not going to be much here. All right. Day number one. Oh, I said, can we just stop with the fireworks? People, stop with the fireworks. My poor puppies. My poor puppies. Look at, look at my poor puppy hiding on the chair. I watched Dancing with the Devil. I didn't give a crap. That's how I feel about that one. All right, as I said, um, my kid was pissed at me this day because I woke him up and gave him shit about not staying up until 4 a.m. when he knows he has stuff to do the next day. I said, thank you he'll get up for work, but on a day off, he'll sleep, like, he'll sleep till 2, 3, and I have to constantly wake him up because his cat's crying for food. And I ain't feeding his cat. Not my cat. Not my problem. I did decorate this one using one of my page kits that I made. Um, that video will be coming out very soon, but you're getting a sneak peek, so here it is. All right, and then this one, I had a doctor's appointment first thing. I got a COVID booster. I did my dad's laundry, made barbecue because I told my boyfriend I would make barbecue for his and my freezer. He left to run errands. At this point, I was still, I think, in my boot and not, I was newly 100%, I think. Oh, yeah, this is when I, this is when I got in a fight with my boyfriend's mom. So we'll just, we'll just bypass that. Okay, so took the dog to the vet first thing this morning. He has a collapsed trachea, if you don't know, my little ween. The doctor said he needed to lose weight, and he's lost weight. Um, I put my foot down with the treat giving in this house. Put my foot down. I'm telling you, these people just give too many treats, but he has lost weight. I could tell because I can tell how easy it is for me to pick him up or not if he's lost weight. I finished all the barbecue. I ended up making nine containers of pork barbecue, and by containers, I mean 16-ounce containers. So nine 16-ounce containers of pork barbecue, three of ham with just a little bit of ham I had in the freezer, three of chicken barbecue with a whole chicken, and then four of turkey barbecue with a turkey breast. So I gave her, I gave my mother-in-law, my boyfriend's mom, 10 out of the 19. I kept nine for myself. So... Let's see, I gave, we gave Sammy his first cough pill to this, this day. So it does work, by the way, his cough medicine does help. Oh, I put my boot on and didn't use my knee scooter at all until I took my boot off at 8 p.m. So all day I walked and I had less pain and it was easier getting up and down the steps. I walked 6,000 steps. I re read The Reaping and Have You Seen This Girl? And here was my list of all the crap that I had to do over period of two days um oh this one on top of the collapsed trachea the vet thinks that the dog has cushing's disease now yeah dog the, he thinks he has cushing's disease he has not gotten tested for it yet we have not gotten back to the vet it hasn't been time he has an appointment coming up so i made my niece a birthday card because i did not forget her birthday i forgot that it was june and no i know her birthday is in june i forgot that it was literally june I didn't realize it had become June already. So I made her a late birthday card. Feel bad. I read Alice and Brennan's Into the Fire and Finding Mr. Right, and the new season of Criminal Minds came out. And this is this is this guy here. You see him? It's actually foliage, but it looks like a little ogre looking at me, like a little troll or something looking at me when I go to the bathroom. That's all I see anymore. Oh, my boyfriend told me I'm only negative anymore. Get the hell out of here. I am. Um, but my pills, I, I up my meds. I'm much better. I read the jock and pride legend FC and rearranged the pantry and cleaned out the pantry. Let me tell you, it does not look like that anymore. I have to clean it up again. Um, I, he's like, all oh, yeah, I said, what do I have to be positive about? I can walk, but it's painful. I cry every day. I'm on day 680 of a headache. Sammy needs expensive meds. It has two health issues, which is one of him is fainting every day. My anxiety and depression are out of control, and I spend all of my time catching up on cleaning because no one could do it while I was laid up. Uh-huh. 
What do I got to be positive about? I read the mix up and she left. Um, oh, and this is the day that one bird got loose and my dad's crawling on the floor after the bird going pretty birdie, pretty birdie, pretty birdie. <laughs> Pretty birdie, pretty birdie, come here, pretty birdie. Finally, I got so mad, I just went and I scooped him up and he fucking bit me. I hate that fucking bird. <laughs> I hate that bird so much. So I finished off my list of stuff to do. Here it was. Oi, so much stuff to do. Look at that. Ugh. Then I just spent the rest of the day reading. I read two books. When this happened, the boyfriend, this was a Sunday, so the boyfriend comes here at, to my house after a Sunday because then he spends his days off here, and he brought Red Robin burgers because they had that catered at work, so I was so happy, so I had burgers when he got home at freaking like 11.20 at night. I don't care. And he said to me, have you been watching Supermarket Sweep since I left? I said, maybe. Don't judge me. I said, in my defense, it was on his background noise. I wasn't actually watching it. It was on his background noise. We watched Butterfly in the Sky. And I had an entire list of things to do. Did I do it? Nope. I went to Target. That was all. Filmed some videos. That was it. Help the neighbor. That was all. And then I got up first thing in the morning to clean my craft room because I was finally able to come downstairs and walk more and do it more. Like, I was waiting till I was more sturdy on my feet to be able to come down here and clean. I made cinnamon rolls, chocolate eclair cake, and lasagna. Read Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood, her newest book, and James pa Patterson's The Number One Lawyer. I got up before everybody else and came downstairs to sew a cover. Our chair, our, the chair is starting to not fall apart, but the cushion is a little compressed, so I, my boyfriend bought more foam and... Uh, fabric and I covered it and I read tell me again and crossing blades oh we had Arby's this was the day that Arby's had for some reason their um, classic roast beef five for five five for five five for five so great like back in the day I'm tired this day I was tired I didn't go to bed until two and woke up at 7 30 barely walked today was a lazy day and I needed it I said, tomorrow I might try and go for a walk. By the way, that did not happen. Um, Matthew got my hopes up about a new chair, but it had sold out. Stood in the shower for the first time since the morning of the surgery. The little things matter. Oh, the new season of Bridgerton came out. The second half of the new season of Bridgerton came out, so I watched that. I read two books, got new CBD. Here's my um, Tortured Poets Department badge. Oh, this is a bad day. Let's not talk about the bad day. I hit my 200 goal of 200 books on this day. I read two books. Got into a fight with the boyfriend. That was that. That was about. I don't, I don't even care anymore. It is what it is. I said uh, the boyfriend finally did what I asked of him. Finally, I don't ask for much. Um, the kid went out with his friends, and I told him. And I will say this till kingdom come. Like. I will say this constantly. I don't care how long he stays out. He's 21. I don't care. He's an adult. I raised him to be a good kid. I raised him to be smart. He knows about drinking and driving. I reiterate it all the time. He knows about not do drugs. Like, just be a good kid. Like, he's a good kid. He goes to work every day, whatever. But when you come home at 3 a.m., the dogs bark. <laughs> That's what bugs me. I watched Bratz, Don't Bother. Unless you want to hear Andrew McCarthy whine the entire time that they were referred to as the Brat Pack. Shut the heck up. Okay, here I said, careless words spoken without thought are hurtful in the worst way. Totally true. My kid today asked me why I'm such an asshole to everybody. I may have cried. It's all right, because I'm not. I'm not an asshole to everybody. This was the baby birds that were in the nest, and this is the day they flew the coop. Look at them. Look at the little baby bird. All right. Last day before the heat wave hits. Ugh. Heat wave. Uh, went to Aldi. What did we get? Oh, I got my dad a tree at Aldi. It was already over 88 degrees this morning, that this morning, with the real, and, yeah. Went to Aldi, got my dad a tree, went to the grocery store, the boyfriend made Cacio, Cacio Pepe? Is that how you say that? I don't know. And pound cake and strawberries for dessert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Day one of the heat wave, 94 degrees. Me, living in a brick house that was built in the 60s and has no insulation is the worst in the summer. The AC runs all day and into the night. And my mind only sees the electric bill go up and 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 up. That's all I see. And it was a six, ended up being a six day heat wave. Ugh. Watched a million, well, we started a million ways to die in the West and I believe we finished it now. So guess who got released to walk in a sneaker? Me, this girl walking in a sneaker. And now I'm completely out of my boot, by the way, completely out of my boot. I have not put my boot on in days. I'm so excited. He told me I needed to walk. He used a walker, but get the hell out of here. I didn't need to use a walker. Um, oh, then there was a fight between the kid and the boyfriend. We had pork burnt ends from Aldi for lunch. I Dexter came on Netflix. So I was watching Dexter. And I read Ruth Ware. I'm still watching Dexter, by the way. It's background noise. I've watched it so many times. My dad cleaned his tires and his rims with this cleaning product, and the whole house has smelled of it for freaking weeks now. This was the 20th. Today is July 1st, and it still smells. I'm so angry because it's been hot. It's hot. Day number three. What was this? This was heat wave day number two, 95 degrees. Today was heat wave day number three, 96 degrees. I ran out of scrub daddy's mom. If you're watching, when you go to Costco, I need more scrub daddies, okay, because I'm out. Also, your grandson needs more popcorn. I said it. He told me to tell you, so I'm telling you. <laughs> and then um, my boyfriend's mom stopped by to ask my opinion about dresses she bought for her sister's wedding. We have a wedding to go to in 10 days. <sighs> the brace that my... Ugh, I'm used to it now, but that first day, the brace rubbed against my incision spot, and I only wore it for a few, like two hours. It was horrible. My first TP PT appointment at the new place. A oh, bunch of stuff in here. It was 91 degrees, and it was 8.52, and it was still 91 degrees out. It was 96 degrees day four outside with a real... Uh, inside, it was 84 degrees inside the house. Ugh. AC didn't turn off until like three o'clock in the morning the one day. Oh, so bad. This is another page that I did in the video and decorated with. This day I went shopping with my mom. It was heat wave day five, 97 degrees. I said, going shopping with my mom always makes me happy. She wanted a chair. She was going to buy me the chair. I didn't like the chair. It was a little too small. I'm looking for a little bit bigger of a chair. Oh, and it was 85 in the house. <laughs> it was so hot. I kept falling asleep at like nine o'clock. Day six of the heat wave, 94 degrees. It was supposed to be the last day of this heat wave. I can't wait for it to be over. Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. So if you don't know, I have a sweating disorder. It is called hyperhidrosis. And if you don't know what that is, and you know if you ever see somebody who is sweating profusely, please do not think that they're disgusting or anything else that you might think about them. They may have hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis is a sweating disorder. Some people have it on the soles of their feet. Some people have it on the palms of their hands. I know there is another creator out there who has hyperhidrosis at the palms of her hands. Um, some people it's facial. Some people it's all over. Some people it's groin. Some people like me, it's cranial. So the sweat pours off of my head. I am on medication for it. It is not as bad as it used to be. It used to be that I, in the dead of winter, I would not wear a jacket because I was that hot. The sweat would just pour off of me. The amount of times that I have been embarrassed to go into a store because of the sweating, I don't even want to tell you. So if you see people who are very sweaty, who have sweaty palms, sweaty armpits, sweaty heads, sweaty anything, please keep in mind that it may just be genetic or a sweating disorder or it's fucking hot. Don't judge people about their sweating is all my point, okay? Because it's gross. So this sweat. <sighs> Last day of the heat wave. I shouldn't sweat in front of a hand. Stupid hyperhidrosis. Ugh, so bad. The sweat is so bad. And this was day 697 of my headache. Isn't it wonderful? Wasn't it lovely? Here was my first full PT appointment today. I didn't like the PT. Now, I had her today, and she was fine. 
And I said to my boyfriend, I said, the thing was he, the, the main PT that I have, I see him and his assistant and I saw his assistant on this day and she was not nice. And he, the main guy kept looking at her. And I said to my boyfriend, I'm like, I wonder if he said something because every time she talked to me, his head would pop up and he would stare over. I was watching him do it. And today she was perfectly pleasant. So I don't know. I got a new phone, so I took a picture of myself, and let me tell you, the camera's so much better. My phone went wacky, and I had to buy a new phone, and I'm, like, so mad about it, because who has the money to shell out for a new phone? Not me. This is the package. I got a new phone case. It's beautiful. Are you ready? Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty that phone case is. Also, my phone is leather, faux leather on the back. Sage green faux leather. Let's see. Hold on. Sage green faux leather. Look how pretty that is. Look at that color. It's so pretty. Anyway, it's a Motorola. It's the only phones I buy because I can't live without a Motorola anymore. And you may think, what do you mean you can't live without a Motorola? I can't live without a Motorola. Okay? I can't live with the three-finger screenshot. And if you don't know what the three-finger screenshot, I've only ever seen it on a Motorola. You literally put three fingers on the screen and it takes a screenshot. None of that fumbling with the side power volume up button. Nope three fingers on the screen and it takes a three it takes a screenshot also if you shake it like this it turns the flashlight on can't live without those now anyway <laughs> i got a new phone <laughs> um okay so i got a new phone this day i got the new case i we watched ghostbusters i bought this for my dad for father's day and it didn't come out till the 25th here's a picture of sassy i sent this to my dad this is the day that my dad went in for his surgery um, he had to be there at 5 a.m. The doctor called me around 11 to let me know that it was over. He was in his room. He was doing good. Now he got, got his catheter removed today. So excitement, excitement. And he could pee. So excitement, excitement today. But the next day, he wasn't allowed to come home yet. He was supposed to come home on this Wednesday, but he wasn't allowed to. He was having bladder spasms, and it was trying to, like, push out his catheter, so he had to stay. So there was that. Here was my list of all the things I had to do. And look it, all done except buy LED bulbs and call electricians. I did call electricians, but not many answered. So if you're not going to answer, I can't get an estimate. Oh, look at that. I have nothing over here either. I could have decorated this page, but I didn't. Bob came home around 2.30. I said the peace and silence are over, but now the dog is like constantly hanging out in my room now. And I got a new bookshelf. I ordered a new bookshelf. And I said, it's three days later and I remember nothing. That's why I have to, I have to journal every day. I don't remember anything. Um, oh yeah. This is the day that my dad drove. It was the next day. And he originally told us he couldn't drive for four days after the surgery. Okay. Four days after the surgery. Then when, when my boyfriend picked him up from the hospital, he told him 48 hours. I can't drive for 48 hours. When he got home that day, he told me, I can't drive for 24 hours. I can't drive for 24 hours. In the morning, he then says to me, I'm going to pay the mortgage and I'm going to the grocery store. And I'm like, I thought you couldn't drive he goes oh no no that's only if I took a sedative and I didn't take a sedative and I'm like whatever I don't care <laughs> I don't care <laughs> here's my new bookshelf and then I said I hurt myself I had to I didn't run I hustled I had to hustle I had to fast jog to get to the dog because he saw the neighbor and decided the neighbor's his new best friend and ran into the street my new bookshelf came also so I put that together. I like it. It looks good. And it fits perfectly where it, wa where it was. And then I didn't do any PT because I hurt myself. Also, I'm wearing compression socks now. Oh, and this was... <laughs> I didn't decorate this page either. Because I knew nothing. Nothing that happened this day. This was last night. Yesterday was horrendous. Horrendous for me. All I did was sweat. All day. I had a migraine that also migraines always make me hot and sweaty so on top of it being humid and hot I had a migraine and I was cranky and and that's that that's that 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 was yesterday okay we don't have to talk about it anymore we don't, we don't gotta talk about it it's fine we don't have to talk about it stop asking me I was cranky. I wasn't yelling at people. I wasn't. I promise. I didn't yell at anybody. Anyway, stop judging me. Thanks for joining me today. 
I will see you guys in the next crafty video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below and let me know, did you have to deal with the heat wave this past month? Because it was horrendous. And I, there's another one coming up and it was supposed to be like 80 for the day of the wedding and now it's supposed to be in the 90s and I'm just not looking forward to it. So let me know. How do you deal with the heat wave? I'm thinking of moving to Alaska. I can't afford it but I really want to move there. Have a great rest of your day, you guys.